Today's wild animal encounter is probably the strangest and saddest story we've ever told, and the most legendary. It concerns the life and death of Timothy Treadwell, the famous grizzly man, and his girlfriend Amy Huguenard, who were tragically mauled and eaten alive by a wild grizzly bear on the slopes of Alaska, one night in autumn of 2003. In this episode, we'll chart the gruesome events of the night it happened and look into some of the mistakes that led up to this terrible loss of two innocent human lives and the death of the bear that killed them. Timothy Treadwell, also known as Timothy Dexter, was born in New York in 1957. He had a difficult home life and eventually moved to Long Beach in Southern California to go to college. According to his book, Among Grizzlies, Timothy developed a bad drug habit during this time and his party attitude eventually resulted in his expulsion from college. By the late 80s, he was seriously addicted to cocaine and heroin, working in bars and attempting to become an actor. The turning point came when he had an overdose. Barely surviving, he knew he couldn't carry on any longer and had to find a new addiction to recover from the old ones. This new addiction became bears. Over the next 13 years, Timothy would travel to Katmai National Park in the depths of Alaska to witness and engage with the wild majesty of the brown bear, also known as the grizzly. As the years went by, he began to style himself as a bear whisperer and gained minor celebrity status as an eco-warrior and animal protector. Every summer, he would go out into the bear's territory and live among them taking with him a video camera which he used to record hundreds of hours of himself interacting closely, too closely, with the bears, often talking and singing to them as a form of communication. His charming character and apparent fearlessness meant that audiences embraced him as a genius, when in reality he never had any professional training and no matter how enthusiastic, he was still an amateur an amateur who became lost in his own semi-delusional world and took risks no one ever should. The sad truth is, when dealing with bears or any other wild and dangerous animal, you have to live in the real world. If you don't, death is just one mistake away. The Alaskan brown bear is one of the biggest predators in the world. The adult males can weigh up to 360 kilograms and be as tall as 3 meters when on two legs. However, despite their massive size and powerful demeanor, they are generally not aggressive towards humans unless they feel threatened or have become so desperately hungry and unafraid of people that they consider them a meal. This second scenario is extremely rare. The odds of being attacked by a bear are approximately 1 in 2.1 million, and in the 85-year history of the Katmai National Park, nobody had ever been killed by a bear before this incident. One of the key mistakes that Timothy made was believing he no longer needed bear spray to stay safe from these animals. Another mistake was that his constant interaction with the bears had caused them to become habituated to humans which is when a bear loses all fear of people and may even learn to scavenge food from them. Timothy believed the animal saw him as a friend and a fellow bear, not a human and a potential source of protein. The final mistake, and the most tragic, was that he allowed his untrained and unarmed girlfriend to take the same risks. Amy Huguenard was not obsessed with bears the way Tim was. She wrote in her journals that the bears terrified her, but rather just wanted to spend time with him and enjoy the beauty of the great outdoors. The result of all these mistakes was the ultimate nightmare. The deaths of Timothy and Amy caught live in garish detail on camera as the deadly grizzly attacked their camp. It began on September 29, 2003, just one week before their sad demise. Tim and Amy were flown into the park by a man named Willie Fulton. They wanted one last camping trip to observe and record the bears before winter began and the bears went into hibernation. This was also a dangerous mistake, as arriving so late in the season would mean that food was scarce and the bears would more likely be hungry and aggressive. Nevertheless, Tim and Amy pitched camp in the Alaskan wilderness. 
and waited. The video film later recovered from the remains of their camp shows them interacting with various bears in that week, including one huge and irritable animal that Timothy named Ollie, the old grumpy bear. This is the bear that would later attack and eat both of them on the night of October 5, 2003. Everything that we know from that night comes from the evidence of a six-minute recording during the moment of the attack, which has never been released to the public and probably never will due to its terribly graphic nature. The recording is audio only as the lens cap had not been removed and begins after the attack had already begun. We hear the voice of Amy sounding surprised and asking, is the bear still out there? Apparently she had either turned the camera on out of instinct or Tim had called her to do so. It's believed that Tim was outside at this point confronting the bear. Abruptly, we hear the sound of Timothy screaming to Amy, Get out here! I'm getting killed out here! We then hear the sound of Amy unzipping the tent and going to help her boyfriend, who was being mauled by the bear. We hear her screaming as she and Tim attempt to fight the massive animal. The wind and the rain howl in the recording, and the next sounds you hear are Amy telling Tim to play dead, play dead apparently attempting to confuse the bear into abandoning its meal. On some level, that seems to work as the bear backs off, possibly due to all the chaos and screaming. However, it doesn't leave them alone for long. After a short time, the bear returns and seems to attack with more ferocity. We hear Tim screaming in pain and shouting that playing dead isn't working. He begs Amy to hit the bear and we hear what is believed to be a frying pan hitting the bear in the head as Tim moans in terrible pain. Amy shouts over and over for Tim to fight back and for the bear to go away, go away. It's believed that at this point, the bear decided to drag its kill deeper into the woods to finish it in peace and quiet. We hear the bear moving away with Timothy still in its jaws. Amy's hysterical screams are even louder than before as Tim shouts for her to save herself. Amy, get away! Get away! Go away! But it was no good. In the morning, their bloodied and dismembered remains were found buried in small mounds, as bears will often do with a large kill. Willie Fulton, the pilot who was due to collect them the very next day, flew over in his plane and observed a massive grizzly feasting on a human ribcage. He alerted the rangers who met him at the scene, and together they made the gory discoveries and shot the bear. It's a horrible story with a sad ending, but an important lesson. Bears are not cuddly human companions. They are wild apex predators and should be treated as such or else. How to be grizzly bear safe. Don't go alone. Groups are usually louder and more boisterous than solitary hikers, so the bear is most likely to steer clear of you. Stay on the path. Bears will usually avoid areas where they think humans will be, so it's best to keep to the established routes. Make yourself heard by talking gently and loudly, so the bear knows you are a human and not prey. Remain still. Stand your ground, but peacefully wave your arms. This will help the bear see you as a human. Try to remain calm by remembering that most bears have no interest in you. They usually just want to be left in peace. On no account scream or make high-pitched yells and never try to imitate bear sounds. This will only irritate it. Make yourself look as big as possible by calmly moving to higher ground or waving your arms. Putting your pack on can also help. Move away slowly while trying to be as non-threatening as possible. Don't climb a tree. Bears are very good climbers. Always carry bear spray. Never get between a mother and her cub. Never leave out food or containers which have food residue. Bears have incredibly powerful noses and they will smell it from miles away. If a bear is acting aggressive, leave the area immediately and safely. It's possible the bear has been food conditioned or habituated to humans. This can be deadly.